Hello guys and welcome back to another locomotive review and today we have a slightly shorter one today um, and that is just to show you the Virgin Class 390 Pendolino that I now have in the collection. So this is a bit more of a sort of project locomotive, it was bought as a non-runner um, and it's had a few areas where it's missing parts and nothing crazy, uh, you probably wouldn't notice unless I pointed them out, um, but it's just it is a it was a pro, it basically was a project that needed a little bit of TLC and the combined effort of me and my friend Alfie have uh, put it back um, running again. It's a little bit funny about running sometimes, but when it runs, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, we have a consist of five in total coaches, which is decent, which includes the front and rear coaches. Um, so that's pretty decent. Um, and we'll basically run through the detail and have a running session with it. So it's in the old Virgin livery, which you can see here is this uh, lovely red colour with the silver. And then got the Virgin lettering on the side. You have the little white here, which uh, has 390012 on the back, which is on the side, which is the local running number. The lights, unfortunately, on this model don't work, but I think that's because it's DCC fitted. It's got a decoder, uh, so that'll probably work on DCC. We'll find out eventually. Everything looks fine inside, so hopefully that makes everything work. You have the little virgin crest on the front, and then you obviously got the lights, you've got the windscreen with some moulded uh, windscreen wipers, and then you've got a light at the top here as well, which is pretty cool. Um, and then you've just got the moulded detail across the top of the vents. Uh, you've got the doors as well, which have this quite signature sort of zebra pattern on, which looks quite cool. And then these are screens which give you the where the destination is for the locomotive or where it's going so that's pretty cool as well um, but it's nice that those are picked up the coaches all pretty much look the same so I'll just go through the differences on this one uh, this one obviously has the nameplate on it Virgin Star which is pretty cool um, there's obviously got first class printed on it as well you also then have the pantograph coach, which is missing the prong pantograph thing, but otherwise they do look quite annoying. So, but the rest of the detail is still there, as you can see. A lot of it separate fitted, some of it molded. Does look quite good. Um, you can see obviously the loco does have a couple of little marks in there. Um, the windows are completely blacked out because there's no actual interior on this model, which is a bit weird. Now you've also noticed that some of the coach sort of walkthroughs are. Missing. Also, this is the only coach that hasn't got close coupling because the way I've had to modify the couplings because they were knackered. So, yeah, it does look doesn't look too bad when it's running though. Um, this is also first class on there on the side, which looks quite good. And then you go to the rear coach, which doesn't have any class numbers on it at all. And then you have obviously got the rear which is just the same as the front, uh, this is just a dummy unit on the loco. Um, driven by one axle with some traction tyres, which is not usually my cup of tea, but I get it for this because it's only got a whole rake of nine of these in the middle, or seven if you go for a nine coach or an eleven coach rake, so um, nothing crazy. What we'll do is, obviously this is not for comparison because it's not on a DCC controller, even though it is DCC. It is something I plan on doing. But we'll see how much slow speed it is. So it does cog quite a bit in DC and then it cuts out, so. It is quite lively as well. So uh, we will enjoy this running around for a bit and uh, see how it goes.
stopped a little bit prematurely then. Uh, so that is the Virgin Pendolino then, uh, which is a lovely addition to the collection. I've always wanted a Pendolino, and it's probably the most modern Loqual um, own in terms of EMUs and multiple units that are electric and high speed trains, whatever. Um, probably the most modern unit I have, um, like ever in the collection. Um, Technically, the Class 68 is probably more modern, but I mean in terms of multiple units, I don't mean diesels. Um, so, yeah. Uh, eventually, I might stretch and have a full rake. Um, this loco does run really well. It's going to be the Forever uh, Virgin Pendolino. It was a project. I bought it as a project, bought it cheap uh, to do up because I'm finding that I want to own slightly older locomotives now because I've got a strong collection of 62 locomotives. And the majority of them are really, really, really nice and brand new or expensive or super detail. So I'm going to implement a couple of older locos, some things that might need a little bit of restoration. We've now had two projects. Um, we've had the OFX 14XX, which wasn't as big of a project. It just had a couple of mechanical problems. Um, and then we've had this. So you never know in the future, we might do some other little small things. Um, e.g. traction tire removals on certain locos and stuff like that. Um, Alfie is a big part of the maintenance side for the locos on this channel, so that's obviously a really important thing. So, yeah, there's a lot, obviously, lots to come as usual. Um, but I do hope you enjoyed seeing the Virgin Pendolino because it is a little bit different, something much more unique to the channel than what has come before because it's a modern. Um, high speed multiple unit and it's electric as well um, but in terms of it being technically its own locomotive obviously um, it does count into the locomotive count which is really very nice so um, I can't remember what number this is we are a little bit well we're quite far behind schedule in terms of uploads but um, it is a gorgeous thing and I'm glad it's joined the collection um, and it does look quite decent from a distance it's got the odd marks and it'll uh, niggles on it, but nothing, nothing bonkers, so. um, which is good. So, um, yeah, it's just about what I get next in terms of a long multiple unit. I'm considering the new H Hornby Railroad plus HST and Grand Central livery because even though it isn't accurate, it's still really, really cool and looks fantastic. So. Who knows what may come and what may not. Who knows, who knows. So, anyway, uh, comment down below what your thoughts are on the Pendolino. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you very soon for some more videos. Goodbye.